Japan's whaling fleet is on its way to the Southern Ocean for the start of another hunting season. And Japan's government has been accused of redirecting $28 million worth of tsunami funding to beef up security for the whaling fleet. Sea Shepherd Captain Paul Watson joins us now from Perth. Good morning to you, Paul. Now, Greenpeace has made these allegations about the funding. Do you have any information on that? <laughs> yeah, well, we made the allegations last week about it, but uh, nobody believed us. But the fact is, is that they had 28 million uh, Australian dollars allocated uh, for security, and that has come out of the tsunami earthquake uh, relief fund. It's a, it's a total disgrace because people around the world have sent money to Japan to help the victims of the earthquake. We're not expecting it would be funding whaling in the Southern Ocean. Yeah. Um, now, the Japanese boats are on their way. How are you going to counter them this year? I have the uh, Bob Barker in Hobart uh, and the Steve uh, Irwin and the Bridge of Bardot out of Fremantle. We'll be leaving in about a week and we'll intercept them down there. Our job is to make sure they don't kill any whales. Last season, we, they only took 17% of their quota. I'm, we're going to try and do better this season. Well, Japan have said that this year they're going to beef up their security. How will this impact on the Sea Shepherd? It will be our most challenging campaign, but we're not going to be deterred from going there. We will block their operations. The only way they're going to stop us is uh, to sink us. They may just do that, but, uh, you know, we're down there to defend the whales. We know what the risks are, and uh, we're prepared to take them. And when do you head off, Paul? Uh, we head off in, a, in about a week, and um, also I've been asking for the Australian government to send a, a vessel down there just to keep the peace, but they've refused. Is there any chance they will re renege on that? Uh, well, I would hope so, but, uh, you know, they're saying that uh, they don't want to get involved. It is the Australian Antarctic Territory, and there are about 20 Australian citizens on the crew, so I think that they, you know, have an, a vested interest in, uh, in seeing that the peace be kept down there. All right, Paul, well, uh, the best of luck, and you keep in touch with us. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Over to you, Carl.